Well, all medicines, including vaccines, can have some side effects, but the important thing is to consider how serious these are compared with the risk of the disease. Spicopathy, however, is not a recorded side effect. So to unpack what people are saying, we have to understand first how the vaccines work. So we have to go all the way back and start with the virus. So the virus is like a little spiky ball and these spikes are used to an anchor and enter our cells via a particular receptor called ACE2. Once inside the cells, they then exploit the cells machinery and turn our cells into little viral factories, churning out thousands and thousands of copies of virus, all of which are covered in those little spikes, which can then burst out of the cell and infect more cells and so on. Now, our immune system tries to com combat this, and one of the things it does is make antibodies to those spikes. And that helps guard our cells from infection, as well as helping destroy virus and virusly infected cells. But the thing with the immune response is it takes time to generate those spike antibodies, and you can get very, very ill in that time and possibly even die. So vaccines are a way to try and give immune cells the instructions for getting the immune system going, but bypassing the need for infection. And the key target we use mimics what the immune system does in that infection, it looks at spike. So one of the ways that we are giving the vaccine is by giving the cells just the mRNA that codes for them to make a little bit of viral protein, which they can then show to immune cells and that triggers the immune response and the production of antibodies. It's a little bit like putting a USB stick into a computer and printing off this file that's stored with it. The foreign protein produced is recognized. This triggers the antibody production. This production of Protein though from the cell is temporary because the mRNA from the vaccine is very short lived. Like all mRNA, it gets destroyed by the body naturally using special enzymes called RNA ases. These chop our RNA up into little pieces. So it's a myth that you end up with all your cells making spikes and then persisting in your body. The so called treatments that then get recommended to try and treat this non-existent condition are also unlikely to do anything much. Most of they seem to consist of dietary supplements that you should be getting in a normal healthy diet and they're unlikely to have a really big effect on your immune system. The exception seems to be ivermectin which some people have been recommending. This is an anti-parasitic drug and it can be quite toxic and it's now been shown in literally dozens of studies to have absolutely no benefit.